Now everyone can make money. The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. Blueberry has unveiled a way all its hosting customers can earn money through programmatic advertising. There are no minimum downloads or audience figures required. The company's using Soundstack. We're also told to expect a big announcement from the company on Monday. Megaphone clients will get free access to both Chartable Audience Insights and the starter plan for pod sites ad attribution from September, according to Spotify. Disktopia has announced it is to become the first podcast streaming platform to pay podcasters five cents per stream. That's $50 cost per thousand. Yesterday, it expanded podcast advertising services into Germany. Today, Libsyn has announced it's expanding into Canada. The company has announced the appointment of Bob Kane. We told you who was working for them in June. And has signed Bob McCown and the Sonar Network. Podcast Radio is to hold an international podcast conference in New York on October the 19th. Edison Podcast Metrics has released the US Top 50 Podcasts by audience size for the 12 months ending June the 30th. At 3, The Daily from the New York Times. At 2, Crime Junkie from Audio Chuck. And at 1, The Joe Rogan Experience. Gemini 13 is working with best-selling author Jane Green to launch Emerald Audio, a female-led podcast network. Pew has published research into how teenagers are using the internet. One in five teens visit or use YouTube almost constantly, they say. Neither podcasts or Spotify get a mention, though. Adalist Media has added labyrinths getting lost with Amanda Knox to its podcast roster, while WMG's podcast network Interval Presents has added Holding Court with Ebony K. Williams to its portfolio. Jack Quaid is to star in a new scripted audio thriller from Echoverse. Penn Entertainment has told the SEC that it plans to purchase the remaining shares of Barstool Sports for $387 million. It bought 36% of the company in 2020. Spoken Layer is the latest company to sign with Sounder for third-party brand safety verification. Advertisers will be able to buy ads knowing that the shows adhere to their brand values and to the brand safety guidelines set by the IAB and GARM. UK media website The Drum looks at seven podcast incubators keeping an ear out for the sounds of tomorrow, Kenya's Semabox and Australia's Sin Media. Rub shoulders with NPR, the BBC, Spotify and Acast. And Odyssey is to make around 250 posts. That's 5% of the company's workforce redundant. And thank you to Josh Muccio, the host of the newly independent The Pitch, for becoming our latest personal supporter on Patreon. The more personal supporters we have, the ruder we can be about our avatar. I mean, the more independent our journalism can be. You can be like Josh at podnews.net slash support. In People News, Matt Turk has joined Ad Large Media as head of podcast growth and strategy. He was publisher of Slate and co-founder of Megaphone. And in podcast news, the premiere of HBO's House of the Dragon is on Sunday. But in the official Game of Thrones podcast, House of the Dragon, you can hear George R. R. Martin's insights into the show and the similarities and differences between House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones. And FT Tectonic returns for a new season with a five-part series called A Skeptic's Guide to Crypto. Jemima Kelly casts a sceptical eye on what led to the boom in digital assets and why they're so volatile. She takes a trip deep into crypto land to hear from critics, converts and hardcore believers to find out whether crypto technology has a future. Well, let's see if it has a future. Let's do some boostergrams. Saints and Sats sent us 100 Sats. Love the show. Quality journalism made bit-sized. Yes, it's even smaller than bite-sized. Uh, T-Man, not He-Man, sends 11 Sats. Another quality production, they say. It's great to hear that there are too many boostergrams to read. Awesome news to start a morning. Well, thank you. Uh, also, another one from T-Man, not he man fantastic short form podcast tight crisp and useful and pleasure to listen to very nice work as kind and wildcat sends 15 sats thanks for the update and the sats elio by sends 10 sats i love this crypto dog three sats interesting to learn most podcasts are listened to during that morning commute indeed andre btc faun has sent us three sats thanks uh, incredible good job 
And Crypto Dog has sent 10 sats. Thanks for the updated news. You're all sending far too little sats, but thank you anyway. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net.